All right, peace, peace, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. So, what I feel. Wow, this is all my Abdulmalik, physician, associate health educator, and moderately fit middle aged endurance athlete. So, happy Sunday to you guys. I hope my nose isn't running. Uh, so, I'm doing my long, what's supposed to be my long run today, but uh, I have to truncate it. It's supposed to be about 13 miles, but alas, I have to go to work. I've got bills to pay. Um, so, it's got to be about 8 miles. It's kind of, it's 35 degrees out here. It feels a little bit colder. Cause it, obviously it snowed. Uh, but um, also the skies are trying to do something. We have some precipitation. That felt like hell. H-A-I-L. <laughs> or maybe sleep, I don't know what it was. But anyway, um... I thought today, heck, what am I going to talk about? Um, the beginning of our, uh, of 2022 and how it's begun. God, it's like this every year, you know, so now we have, we're dealing with these variants of, uh, of the, uh, COVID virus. So some of my colleagues who are uh, triple vax <laughs> have uh, come down with COVID and um, she say contracted COVID. <laughs> I hope I don't get it, inshallah. If I do, <laughs> I'll have to quarantine. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a mini vacation for me. But um, that's how it is. And you've got, you know, gun violence <laughs> every day. <laughs> Somebody's been getting shot. <laughs> Or somebody shot somebody else here. Um, especially here in D.C. Uh, per capita, we've got the, one of the highest rates of uh, gun violence in, in the country. I don't know what to do about it anymore. <laughs> the things that people, my group of people, uh, need to do about it. I don't know if a lot of them are ready to do what they need to do about it. It takes a lot of self-monitoring and self-discipline. So that's what I'll talk about. Uh, that'll segue into the importance of self-discipline and keeping your goals. Um, so we're in the first week, we're past the first week of the new year. Many of us, myself included, have probably slacked off a bit. But our goals, our New Year's resolutions, but as I tell people, that's okay. You know, you just kind of regroup and uh, figure out why you're slacking off. Usually, usually it just comes down to discipline. You know, things like time management, you know, if it's exercise, getting down and doing some push-ups or sit-ups, you don't necessarily have to do this crazy stuff I'm doing. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> but... That's how I push myself. And then, um, you know, so the discipline, but also adhering to a plan. Look at this. All this stuff in my way. Trees falling trees. Ah. You know, following your plan, you have to write your plan out. I said before, make your plan as intricate as possible. So minute to minute. So, see, that's my alarm. It just turned... It's 9 o'clock now. I should have finished my run. I was supposed to be out here by 7 a.m. And then have finished my run by 9. It takes me about two hours to do a 13.1 mile trail run. Especially in these conditions. But I didn't. I sabotaged myself. I ate, which I'm not supposed to do. I'm not supposed to eat past six o'clock because then I got to go to the restroom that takes time I didn't have my my running outfit ready I got home late um, got off at nine didn't get home till like 9 45 but I still should have prepared for this morning's run oh, there goes the rain but um you know that's what you got to do so those of you guys that are uh, 
I've talked to some of you guys that are planning on um, PA school. Or are you trying to decide between PA school or medical school? Or you have a BSN and you're contemplating. Now you're thinking about doing your DNP, your doctorate of nurse practitioner, and or PA school. Or <laughs> going to medical school. So they're kind of like hemming and hawing. And I talked to a couple of you, you guys that are my kids' age, in your early 20s. I said, well, listen, you're very young, but that time goes by fast. Look where we are now. We're into the third decade approaching, well, yeah, what is this? Into the, well, into the second decade of this uh, new millennium by the Gregorian calendar. Have you accomplished your goals? You know... The time goes by fast in hemorrhages. I remember 1999. You know, experts, quote unquote, thought American society were touting this idea that society as we know it was going to come to an end. And yet here we are. Because everything's computer based. It works on the binary system. So the computers wouldn't know what to do with 2000. The year 2000. Anyway. I ramble on, um, but just try to discipline yourself to the best degree that you're able. Uh, goes back to what I was saying before. Set high goals for yourself, but make them attainable in your mind. And when you get to that point, um, you know, set new goals for yourself. And everybody's at a different place. Yeah, I take care of a lot of the boys in the hood. You know the. Young brothers, quote unquote, involved in gang banging. And I, and I remember one guy was telling me, Yeah, you know, Doc, I just want to live to be 30. Man, it's just something about that. Three, if I could just live to be 30. And he had this shine on his face, like, Yeah. Like, for him, that was a very lofty goal. You said, That's ridiculous. But a lot of his friends were locked up for life or dead. You know, hey there, how are you? Yeah. You know, so for him that was that goal that may seem weird for a lot of us. Um, for him that was a very lofty goal. So you have to understand where your goal is. You know, maybe you want to go to an Ivy League medical school and nothing less. Well, you got to put the work in. Even the gangbangers and the thugs, they got this uh, these YouTube channels where some, you know, these guys got out of prison and they're OG Oh gee, gangster, you gotta put in work. That's how we do. So I mean, selling drugs, killing somebody, beating some people up, or some type of extortion. Uh, that's what they said. I'm not trying to get shot. My little YouTube channel. But um, they're very serious about putting in that work. <laughs> um, to become an OG. So you could become an OG, an academic OG. I guess I'm somewhat of an academic OG now. <laughs> I've been a PA for uh, a little more than 20 years. Got two bachelors, a master's, and a doctorate. I'll talk about the doctorate later. But uh, I had to put in work. Just like this, I'm working toward my first ultra marathon. It's not an easy task. That's <laughs> beyond 26.2 miles. Um, this is very dangerous out here. Icy up road. But I got to put the work in. I can't just show up and be like, okay, I'm ready to run a marathon. You got these young guys, these YouTube channels like, I ran a marathon with no training. But a lot of them are under the age of 30. And they're relatively fit. I mean, they might bike or, you know, go to the gym a couple of days a week. But you can do that when you're that age. <laughs> when you get to be on the borderlines of geezerdom, like me in your 50s. You gotta prepare. You gotta put in smart training. You know, not too much overtraining to let your body heal and recover. It's gonna take longer. Be careful of injuries. Well, but that's what it is. Thank God I got it. Anyway, guys, I wish you all the best of success in your positive endeavors. If you are interested in becoming a PA or have some questions about running. You can certainly reach out to me. I'll try to 
answer your questions to the best of my ability. There are other better channels out there. This is basically a vlog. <laughs> um, but uh, that's it for now. Take care. Peace. Run with me for a few seconds. Woo-wee! Oh.